The following content is provided under Wisa Mechanism Group. Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to explain a very simple problem in our static class. Uh, uh, the following picture is a picture for uh, a problem that we are going to work on. And as we can see in the picture, we have uh, three ropes, which means that we have three forces. And uh, the question wants us to find the component uh, or to find the uh, tension in the rope AD and the tension in the rope AB and AC as well. So uh, we're gonna draw the f uh, we're gonna draw the free body diagram, and this is the very the most important step in any static problem or in any dynamic problem. The first thing you have to do is you have to draw a free body diagram because it's gonna show you how to reach the problem and it's gonna make everything clear and easy for you so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, draw the x and y axis and uh, we're gonna use a as our reference point this is a and we have this is the first stroke we're gonna call it d a d and this is our second row which is uh, seems to be on the same axis of the x axis and it's going to be AC and in here we are going to have our I'm sorry this is going to be B and this is, this is going to be C and they give us the weight of the uh, the block and it seems that uh, I'm sorry they give us the mass of the block so they gave us MC equal to 250 kilograms, which means we're gonna be using the SI units in this problem since this is a kilogram. So the very easy thing that we can do at the moment is we are going to find the tension of the rope AC. So we're gonna say uh, tension of the rope C, which is gonna be W equal m g uh, which is equal to f a c okay so it's equal to w m g because it's going uh, on the y axis which means there's no angle but in this case we're gonna, we're gonna be having two components X component and the Y component for the force of AD. So this is going to equal to M, which is 250 kilogram, and the gravity of air, which is 9.81 meter per second square, is going to give us a value of something. Okay, this is how to compute the force in the Y direction. So I will try to compute this real fast using my calculator and see what we came up with. What we come up with? 9.81. It seems that we can have a volume of 2,452.5 newton. So this is our F A C. F A C. We're gonna write this in here up so we can have more space to work on, which is equal to 2452.5 Newton. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and compute the forces of FAD. I'm gonna use a different color. I'm going to draw the force in the x direction and the force in the y direction so this is going to be f a d in the y direction and this is going to be f a d 
in the x direction. Okay, and the angle that is given in this problem is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so we get to compute these forces. And we also have F uh, AB. F AB is unknown. Is unknown and F and also F AD is also unknown. So what we are going to do right now, we're going to sum the forces of the whole body in the x direction and sum the forces of the whole body in the y direction. So just watch what we are going to do right now. We're going to say the sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero. In any static problem, the sum of the forces equal to zero. The sum of the moments equal to zero in any static problem. You cannot put uh, you cannot put the sum of the forces equal to ma because this is a static class. It's not a dynamic class. So this is what we are going to do. In the x direction, we have f ab is going in the x direction, and it's negative, right? This is negative. I'm sorry for not putting my axis. And we have also this force, which is F A D X, which is going to be F A D uh, cosine 30 degrees. And in here we have nothing. This is equal to zero. And this is unknown. This is unknown. We cannot find any force, but we can write our main equation for the sum of force in the x direction. Right now we're going to write. The sum of the forces in the y direction. Don't worry about that you don't have these forces. Just write all of your equations down and then see what you can come up with. So we're going to say the sum of the forces in the y direction equal to zero, which means we have F A D, this component, the y component, which is going to be uh, sine uh, 30 degrees, right? And also, we are going to have W, which we already figured out, which is the negative since it's going down. It's going to be negative. This is going this direction. This is going to be negative 2452.5 Newton equal to zero. So it seems that we can find FAD easily. So FAD equal to. 2452.5 Newton divided by sine 30 degrees divided by sine 30 degrees which is equal 4905